Kaiju Kabas, I'm a Ugandan designer and a, a celebrity stylist. I have um, showcased on many fashion shows in Uganda and uh, the Swahili Fashion Week in Tanzania like three times. Um, I've also showcased in Nigeria at Men's Fashion Week and many others, yeah. And I'm here in Rwanda, I always uh, come to work here in Rwanda, I have a lot of clients here, yeah, especially the, uh, the artists. Uh, okay, if I'm to talk about my challenges as a fashion designer, main, um, the main challenges will be, the first one is, um, um, would be the teamwork, the, the, the building a team. Because, you know, as much as you're talented and you, you, you can do these things, it's not easy to to do them alone. Mm -hmm. They say the talent is a game, but uh, uh, teamwork wins champions championships. So um, it is a big challenge because I have to get workers who can understand what I do, so that they can do. Because there's a lot of work that I have to do. I can't do it alone, so I have to get a team of people to help me do that which is not easy because not everyone can do exactly what you what you want what you want because i have a style of how i design my clothes so i it's not easy to get a team that will really really understand you but with time i've been able to overcome it i've tried to get some workers that i've trained to to understand my kind of design and what exactly i need to do yeah then another challenge would be um to stand out. It's not easy to stand out because there are a lot of uh, talented designers in Uganda, even here in Rwanda. So to keep true to yourself eh, and again be able to please the client and then stand out. Because at the end of it all, if you don't stand out, you're not going to get the clientele, you know. So it's, it has not been easy to stand out. You really, really have to put in a lot of effort, put in a lot of marketing, yeah, and a lot of hard work. So. That was that has been a big challenge but you know with time you're able to overcome it and find solutions to every problem that you have yeah maybe another challenge would be usually as a fashion designer is finance because designing needs a lot of capital you need a lot of capital to make those clothes like if you're going to make ready to wear clothes that you're going to sell to maybe other shops maybe other outlets and all those things you need a lot of capital for you to be able to do that so it's also a challenge but you know with time as you're working you make some money and save and maybe yeah you know yeah so you're able to overcome that yeah so those are the main challenges that i would say that i have faced in the industry uh, the interesting features in the fashion industry in randa is that i have noticed that most of the designers here uh, uh, they they kept true to Rwandan culture. Like most of them have kept their design to the Rwandan culture. They have a Rwandan touch to their designs. And maybe another thing that I would say is that that stands out in Rwanda is that as a fashion designer, we work with a lot of models eh, for photo shoots and and uh, videos and all those things. I have noticed there's a lot of talent in Rwanda. There are a lot of good models, tall. Uh, edgy, high fashion models, very, and I've worked a lot, uh, I've worked with a lot of random models, yeah. So those are like one of the standouts that I have found. And then another thing is that the fashion industry here is really growing so fast, so na, like on a rapid speed, yeah. So that's a really something very interesting that I, I have seen in Rwanda. <laughs> yes. Yes, I know how the, I think my standouts are about three designers. Uh, one of them being uh, Motions. Motions is a is a designer who has really kept to 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 the culture of Rwanda. He, his kind of clothes uh, have a touch of the Rwandan culture, and they are very. He's very very creative. Yeah. So I really really like his style. And then maybe another person will be um, House of Tayo. Yeah, I love the way he plays around with colors and his. Uh, uniqueness to like suits and those other accessories i think yeah i i like that about the the, the brand then uh, maybe another person would be cedric cedric is oh my god he's like out of this world like 
his designs are really 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 like on an international standard like he's very very creative like he makes these couture uh, outfits which are like really out there like they're on an international standard like they would compete on an international standard yeah so yeah I think those are my standout designers there are very many that I know but those are my three standouts yeah 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 they can because like uh, as designers we get inspirations from different things and we get a lot of inspiration from other designers like <clears throat> for example as me i get a lot of inspiration from other designers from uh, like the us the uk let's say <clears throat> baman or uh, louis vuitton uh tommy hill figure all those people. we get inspirations from all these designers so really really we can get a lot from other other counterparts yeah, as, uh, probably every woman should have a black heel <laughs> they should have um, a pair of black heels yes 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 then uh, every woman should have uh, a handbag where they can put all their things because you know women in a day they, there's a lot that goes on so they, you have to have a handbag where you can put stuff like makeup and all those things and what uh, maybe another thing that every woman should have is a black dress because a black dress goes anywhere like if you wake up and you need to go for a dinner you can easily put on a black dress if you have something like every woman should have a black dress social media plays a very big role in the fashion industry these days because like if you, as me if i'm to tell you like most of my marketing i've done it on social media like you post something about what you've done or maybe a video you've styled maybe someone you've dressed and everyone comes looking for you because of that particular thing that you posted so really social media has been a very big platform for all of us especially in the fashion industry so yeah it's a really really a big deal for, for us uh, what I would give uh, what I would give uh, uh, the advice I would give to uh, someone starting is make sure that you keep you keep your brand like keep keep like make sure you you stay true to yourself okay? as much as we are in this industry where you want to get more clientele you want to to be up there and get known and all those things you should keep it to your stand like you, you shouldn't go you shouldn't you shouldn't do something that is not in your scope of work you know because that's what is going to identify from the rest of people because there are very many talented designers who are out there but what is going to make you stand out is that if you stay true to yourself and you have a uniqueness about you that's what makes you stand out so yeah